Hello again, my name is Fahim Ali and today I'll be presenting a sneak peek of mobile printing in Tracer Plus 9.1. So let me just show you my Tracer Plus screen. So you'll see here that I have um, a Tracer Plus desktop instance loaded up and uh, what I have here is um, Tracer Plus 9.1 and this is an upcoming release which we are looking to uh, release sometime in the near future and we just want to give you a quick sneak peek at what printing looks like to, uh, in 9.1 and it's very exciting so over here if we go to printing um, for anyone who's familiar with our uh, Tracer Plus printing uh, section this might look a little different to you uh, what we've done is we've enabled the ability to select, configure, and use multiple print formats in your Tracer Plus projects. So previously you would only be able to use one, uh, one print format per Tracer Plus session and now you can set up as many print formats as you'd like in that session and then configure them uh, individually and then use them through button actions or however you prefer. So I'll go ahead and I'll do a sample setup of a print uh, printing session in Tracer Plus 9.1 and you'll see how powerful this feature really is. So first I want to enable printing and you'll see I'll get the uh, manage reports uh, group box here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a report and this is just the same as um, selecting a report previously except now you can add and remove as many reports as you'd like. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually going to remove the, the rest of these just for now. Uh, and then you can see the reports I have here have some basic reports that come uh, with the default Tracer Plus 9 uh, install. Uh, I'm going to just go with CPCL sample for now and now you can also, you, you'll, this will look familiar to anyone who is uh, familiar with printing in Tracer Plus. So uh, for CPCL sample uh, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll print all records and um, I can even set up print on submit. So another uh, um, cool feature is we redesigned the way print on submit works so previously we would uh, you'd have to um, specify if you want to just print on submit with no conditions um, you would just click on the print on submit but now you can actually specify whether you want to just print on submit regardless of any other condition or you can choose to print on submit when only a certain condition is met so let's say I want to print on submit when field 2 is equal to ABC um, so uh, I'll leave that off for now um, and then you can choose your configuration settings and um, I can choose RC32, TCP, IP and Bluetooth. Most of these settings are the same it's just um, now you can uh, in individually set those settings per report and you'll have you can have multiple reports per session. Um, so uh, another new feature is being able to set your COM port for Bluetooth for Windows Mobile right in the Bluetooth section um, and you'll see here this um, uh, I guess non Windows Mobile icon here this just signifies that in Windows Mobile we don't use a parent name for Bluetooth but we do use a COM port um, so you don't have to worry about that so I have my you can see I have my um, my CPCL sample I'll just change some of these other settings just to show you how this works um, these are not actual settings I'm, that I'm configuring really it's just as, as, as an example so uh, I've configured my first report and then I want to add another report and you'll see this report has been defaulted to the uh, default settings and you can choose any of these and they'll affect your session um, like they would before except it's based on how you choose to do it. So um, here you go, I, I set up print on print automatically, print on submit and here I can do uh, TCP IP so if you have a printer that supports network printing, um, you can do it through that. And you'll see when I switch between my two print reports, um, they have their own individual settings and they will operate in that fashion. So when I submit, um, a text sample will be printed and it'll also start automatically. Uh, while for CPCL sample, um, I actually have to configure this with a button so it actually uh, prints with that because it's not set to print on submit. So the other uh, part of this is in the form designer. So I'll just go ahead and create a default and 
Um, let me actually get rid of some of these fields here. So now um, I'll name this print. Previously, when you selected the print button action through the um, for a button, you would you, you, it was just printing based on the print report you set in uh, the printing section. Now you have to specify the report you'd like to use. And you can see I configured CPCL sample and text sample, and I can choose to print with these two reports. So let's say um, you, you had a, you were working in a warehouse uh, environment and you had multiple printers set up in different locations and you wanted to print different types of reports to those different locations depending on which one you were closest to. So you can set up multiple different uh, print buttons. Um, so I'll set up actually one more print report and um, we'll just make that, we'll, we, won't, we don't have to worry about configuring it for now. Uh, so we'll do, we'll call this location one, location two, and maybe storeroom. And I'll set these as printing uh, button actions. I'll go ahead and select the report and one more. Okay, so now um, let's say I'm walking around my warehouse and um, I have different reports and I want to print to those different printers to, based on which one I'm closest to, uh, my proximity. So I can just, and it's so simple, I set up my reports once and now when I deploy my project I can just click on the different buttons to print exactly to that printer. And that's just a small taste of uh, the kind of possibilities you have with now multiple reports in Tracer Plus 9.1. And uh, one other thing I want to talk about is the addition of um, filter definitions directly within the report. So this one is a little more advanced, but it's pretty simple to pick up if you, um, you know, give it a few tries. So if I go to, um, so I'm going to save this project here. So if I go to my project directory in Tracer Plus Desktop Projects, and I've saved it as Project 1, uh, that's the, just the default name. I'm going to go ahead and open that up and uh, open the project files. Okay, so um, I'm not seeing the printer uh, XML here, but that's fine. I'm going to go ahead to the system info where the printers are normally stored. And I want, I'll just show you, so these are the report files here. Uh, the CPCL sample, the text sample, and ZPCL sample. So when you uh, end up deploying these uh, projects to your uh, device, Windows mobile device or your Android device, these get uh, copied over from uh, you know, your master app state folder to your project specific folder. So I haven't done a deploy yet, which is why you, I didn't see it in that previous folder, but that's okay, I don't need that. I just wanna show you guys how to add filters directly within the report. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this, um, and I'm gonna change this to XML to make it look, make it easier. So this is a, a print format defined within uh, the CPCL language. Um, under, this is the, the underlying uh, language is just XML, but um, there's some special uh, commands that CPCL uses. So we're going to go ahead and edit our CPCL sample directly to uh, add some filters. So now if I want to add a filter, I would do define filters. And this is our top level uh, filter node. So when Tracer Plus comes across this report and it's generating that report uh, on the device side, it's going to see this filter uh, define filters node and it's going to um, only return the data that you define through these filters. So I'll go ahead and define a filter here. And it's important to note that um, the, uh, the, the, uh, the nodes, the XML nodes and the XML attributes are written exactly as you see here because that's how we, um, how we grab the filters. So I'll explain these in just a second. I'll just do another filter here. So 
what I've got, gone ahead and done is uh, define two filters for my CPCL sample. So anything that uses this report in the future will um, will be using these these filters to grab the data and filter it. So we only grab this data. And of course, you can make a copy of this and then save it as the project specific uh, report. So that way, you're not modifying all your um, all your printing sessions. Um, so here, let me go ahead and explain what each of these um, attributes does. So here we defined a filter, and this is just one element, one filter. And we, we define which uh, field, so trace plus field, that we'd like to filter on. And we want to filter on field one. And here's our operator. So there's um, multi, uh, six different type of uh, supported operators. Um, we have, actually, let me just go through these now. So the operators can be anything from equals equals so that means um, this field must match the value so here this is actually greater than or equal so I'm saying if field one is greater than or equal to value one then we have um, of course greater than which um, is just means field one must be greater than one we have greater than or equals which you see here uh, we have less than field one must be less than one uh, less than or equals which is um, you know, field one must be less than or equal to one. And of course, I'm just using one as a example value, but it's whatever you choose to be. So you can see in my second filter, I did uh, AB. And the next one is not equals. So the way this works is um, basically any, if field two is any value but the value AB. So using the combination of filters, operators, and values, you can really, um, you know, um, I guess select exactly the data you want to print and um, make it really efficient and lean. <clears throat> so you can define these filters directly in the um, port XML and use them um, just like you would before. And uh, just some additional considerations before I sign off and take some questions. Um, when you are setting up the print reports, you'll notice you can set up multiple print on submits. So I can set these all up as print on submits, and how that will how that will work is um, when you're going ahead and submitting the record on Tracer Plus, um, you uh, it'll it'll start from the top and then go to the bottom, and any of those reports that are set to print on submit will go ahead and walk through them individually. So if I set these all up to print on submit, when I submit, it'll print the first one, then the second one, and third third one. Maybe if I turned off text sample, it'll um, it'll only print on submit for the first report and the second report. And if you print from the grid, you should know that when you're printing, um, it'll always use the first report in the list. So if I was to print from the grid, I would only get a uh, CPC sample as the print report. And other than that, that's really it. Um, when you deploy this to the device side, it's pretty much the same. Um, you would you would choose the location or the print report that you want to print with. And, um, you know, you can print from the grid, you can print on submit. It's all really on Tracer Plus Desktop. And now you can configure multiple reports and set them up however you'd like. And this gives you the flexibility to print in a number of ways that you, you couldn't do before, before Tracer Plus 9.1. Uh, okay, thank you all for your questions and for your uh, time. And we hope that you uh, are looking forward to Tracer Plus 9.1. Have a good day.